Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Tool Shop, and today uh, I have, or I'm planning out a few projects that I want to start um, that I think is going to be some really cool. It is some little TIG welding um, out of some nuts and bolts. I went to a hardware store and picked up a whole bunch of nuts and bolts, a few washers, and I've seen a lot of cool ideas on Pinterest. I want to try making a few little creatures and stuff like that. I'm going to design them, figure out the pricing, everything. So I'm going to go ahead and start by doing that. And on some other exciting news, I also reorganized the shop here. Um, not really a lot, but I moved around my wood lathe to the back of the shop, some storage, um, drill press still at the back. But across from my lathe, I set up my TIG welder and my welding booth, which is fairly new to me. I'm not sure if you guys have seen it yet. But by doing so, this also gives me more room for my blacksmithing as well. So propane forge over there, striking anvil. Peter Wright Anvil and my advice gives me a little bit more room to try and spread things out. So other than that, let's jump into getting some sketches done over here and then I'll fill you guys in on what I've chosen and we'll start trying to do that tonight. So. So I've just gone ahead and finished wire brushing. I only made three of these guys, I'm just kind of playing around with it. Um, this was the first one, I melted through the top one a little bit, but learning experience. Although I think the last one turned out fairly well I'd say. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this was the last one here. You can see it has some very nice welds on it. I didn't melt through, I didn't melt through anywhere obviously on this one and I'd say it probably looks the best but once again a little bit of practice experience and it you know it'll start working out so now I'm going to go ahead and this is just one I wanted to make tonight and that is a little fish um, you'll see it at the end of the video hopefully I can get it done tonight um, I'm just trying to see how much I can fit in tonight so let's get to this one.
Alright guys, so as you were just watching in the time lapse, um, I went ahead and instead of doing a few of them at a time, I need to start off making them to see which ones I like first off. Um, so now I can go get more material, so I'm just kind of playing around with which ones use what material, um, which ones turn out really well. Um, the snowman, I'd say I got down fairly well after about three tries, I got down into a pretty compact, or into a pretty cute little guy here, well made, uh, fairly straight. So I ended up making three of these guys, the first one I ended up melting through the top of it a few times, but... Either way, still looks good. Once again, these these aren't exactly very expensive little guys to make. These are just kind of something little small for like a craft show is what I'm making them for to begin with. Um, ideally, I'd like to have them better produced, however, being my first one or something like that, you know. I'm just learning how to make these guys specifically. As you can see here, this little guy, five bolts and a hex head. Now this guy isn't done yet, um, the craft show I'm going to is uh, at a high school and so what it is going to be is actually a little grad student. I'm going to cut out a piece of one inch square and use some TIG wire and a little piece of Colt, uh, a little piece of round bar and weld it onto a side to make a little graduate student, something like that, that I think would sell really nicely, especially at a high school given, you know, kids are going to be graduating every year. so. I'm hoping that these guys might do fairly well. Uh, next up is Fido here, little dog that I made here as you can see. Um, four legs, bolts, and then cute little face with some TIG wire. And last up is this little fish guy here. So just two little nuts for the eyes. And as you can see, I welded on some washers onto the sides and cut up one washer for the fins. Now it's not... I not my perfect ideal one. It Once again, this was just kind of my one playing around with um, at the beginning. Um, so this is probably just going to be a personal guy to keep floating around the shop or something like that, hang up some string. But once again, still great learning experiences and uh, we'll definitely be making more of these. It's definitely good TIG practice as well as I said earlier in the video. So, on that, if you guys want more uh, like step-by-step -step tutorial tutorials on how to make each one of these guys, you guys are going to have to let me know in the comments because uh, other than that, I probably won't do a how-to on how I made these guys. But like I said, if you guys want one or want videos on that, let me know in the comments and I will for sure try and get back to you guys. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, drop a big thumbs up, comment down in the comment section down below. And other than that, have a good day guys. We'll see you in the next one.